How much storage space do you think is on this IBM hard drive that has to be airlifted from one end of the United States to the other by Pan Am? I'll let you know at the end of the video, so stay tuned and find out. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another very exciting video. I'm Game Mars and today we're talking about the Seagate one terabyte expansion card. That's a mouthful. Actually, no, let's talk about how amazing human beings are at advancing hard drive technology. Seriously, computer technology, just how far we've come in our lifetimes, it really blows my mind. So we're gonna talk about that instead. This is the N64 controller pack. Some games on Nintendo 64 required you to have this to save a game. Anyways, this thing had a whopping 246 kilobytes. Not even a megabyte. 246 kilobytes, one terabyte. I love technology. This is my memory card for the PlayStation 1. It had 128 kilobytes. <coughs> this is actually bigger. These are my memory cards for my GameCube. This one has 512 kilobytes and this one has two megabytes. Apparently there was an eight megabyte one, but I never got that in Australia. I haven't even seen one in Australia. 500 kilobytes, two megabytes, one terabyte. And this is my PlayStation 2's memory card. It had a whopping eight megabytes. It was the biggest memory card I had. This is the last memory card I purchased until this one. So we haven't had much of a need for memory cards since what, 2005, 2006? Cause that's when consoles got hard drives in them. But the next one I would go on to buy had one terabyte of storage. The last one I needed had a whopping eight megabytes. And the thing that blows my mind is that this doesn't hold save game files. It holds entire video games. Technology is amazing. Look, I know this was supposed to be a review of this amazing piece of technology, but what am I gonna say? Get one for your Xbox Series X and S, especially if you have the S, because the S doesn't have enough storage space on it. I mean, it's a no brainer. This is something you need, get one. But I couldn't help but look at its form factor and be reminded of my old memory cards. Oh, and by the way, that IBM hard drive at the beginning of the video, that hard drive held a whopping five megabytes. So let me know in the comment section if you guessed that correctly. Anyways, that's it from me. See ya.